Hello and welcome to the introduction on how to create a regional database. Uh, a regional database is a nation created out of uh, a parent nation, um, usually uh, a, sort of a, a state or a county or um, something like that, province, etc. Um, I've been doing these databases for about six years <laughs> uh, and I've been helping people make their own databases for about the past three years. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'd, I'd share my knowledge. I would produce a, a whole little series of videos to to talk you through and and kind of get my knowledge down uh, down so that other people can can see it as, as well as also follow my written guides. Um, so what I'm going to do uh, is talk you through the four main steps of the process. Firstly, setting up the nation that involves sort of getting all the information in. Secondly, getting the people into the database. This involves two parts. Firstly, adding the cities. Secondly, adding the, the people who are from those cities, who were who are born in those cities which are within your, your national boundary. Uh, thirdly, getting all the leagues set up. So this is about league... Uh, okay, basically, getting all the teams liberated from their parent national structure and then getting them into your league. Uh, and last of all, is all the fine details uh, in part four. Uh, of sort of how to sort of get the best out of a, a national database and and put all those little tips uh, and stuff that I've learned over the years in so that you can you can benefit from them. Um, so excuse me. Firstly, I'd like to talk about uh, research. Now, I, f I find research a really really important part of um, how to create a regional database. Um, it's going away and finding out firstly all the clubs that would fall within your your national team for you if you were to make your country separate from the rest of its parent nation. Uh, the second is also going and getting all the cities as well and getting those listed down. So I, I've taken a lot of time over the years to build up uh, a little knowledge base of all of the cities, towns and villages that are in the game and also not in the game that I would need for my nation. And then I've gone away and added all the cities. Um, adding cities is something that's fairly simple. And the other thing is just obviously get the latitude and longitude in that I've not ever really bothered so much with altitude and just pop the weather in there, you know, that's about it. The easiest thing to do is you can find a, a neighbouring town or village, just copy from the town or village and, you know, with the duplication tool and just add in your your own um, name <laughs> and change the uh, change the longitude and latitude slightly and then of course you're not uh, having to fiddle around with too many other things. Um, so yes, yeah, so once you've got uh, your research done uh, and you fully researched everything you need to do. Uh, then you can start creating a regional database. Um, I use two websites for my club research uh, and I generally just browse around the internet for um, the cities. Um, one of the first things I do is kind of almost I get a map and I sketch out my my uh, national board. And I think that's um, if you're not sticking to current sort of county borders, and that's a good idea to do is to kind of get a sketch of where you know your border falls. So you can decide who is in and who is out. Um, and that's, that's one of the first things to do. If you're quite easy in just doing a, a county, going away and finding websites that, that show uh, counties and stuff, it is quite uh, quite simple. But let's quickly pop into research and let's have a look about what we can do. So the first website I use for, for club research is the Pyramid. Um, this is a really good website for sort of identifying what teams are in your area. So first thing to do is look at the full structure. You can see this actually shows you all of the the leagues of the uh, football pyramid all the way down to, gosh, how many levels, you know, really, really low. Um, but we can use this, of course, to uh, to find all the teams that would fall into our uh, nation uh, or help us find those teams. And once you know the cities, you can you can search it for other ways as well. Um, but of course, if we're doing Hampshire, which is what I'm going to use my example in future videos, of course, we would scroll down here and go to the Southern League and. Uh, and of course, start off doing the um, the uh, Premiership and Championship and National Leagues and uh, uh, where the Premier um, to the what they call them the Blue Square Bre well, Blue Square is it Blue Square or whatever it is Premier um, whatever that is uh, Football Conference yeah doing the Conference Premier Division and then you can look at leagues below so um, for Hampshire of course most of the teams will be in the Southern League Southern Premier Division. So we start here. Uh, quite often, the um, website, uh, the pyramid, links you through to the the league's homepage, 
Well, it's usually fairly easy to navigate. The first thing you do on these websites is just just click on League Table and get all the uh, information that you can. There's a few other things you can get off, and sometimes you can get things like attendances and goal scores and stuff, which can help you add detail. But I advise against doing too much, um, really, because adding detail in is a is a long, long, long process to clubs. You know, it's, it's, I've never really found it, it worthwhile in the end. Um, as you can see from this, I can identify that I've got uh, two towns that have clubs in this league. So there's AFC Top, and that will be from my area. Uh, and also further down, um, I think Bashley is as well. So there'll be some others in this league, but that's kind of how you would do it. And you would go down through and go to the league below, the league below. Uh, and then, of course, we wouldn't be using the Premier um, Peninsula ones. They wouldn't be relevant. Um, but what would be relevant, maybe, if we go further down, uh, you know, you, you could find that there's uh, some other ones that are, to keep scrolling down at different levels, you see. At level 12, there's lots of different ones. You could probably find the one that's most relevant to you. And I think, quite possibly, the most of you in here. So, as you can see, there we go. And the next thing to do is find the tables and there we go, there's a couple of ones that are in Hampshire in here as well, so you can use this as a real good way to kind of rank your teams and see which level of the pyramid they came from and when once you've done that, once you know what level of the pyramid they came from, you can kind of slot them into your league structure more easily and it also gives you an idea of how well they're performing, so you can look at last year's table and see where they came and see how how good they are. So there's different ways of ranking it. If we also then now go and look at um, another website, which is Football Me Too, which is a very good website for helping find out as well, But because you can look now by Hampshire. And I can here select or find all the leagues that are relevant to this area, which is absolutely brilliant. So let's have a quick look again, see if we can do the same thing. We can go to the Southern Premier League. Uh, we can click on the Southern Premier League. And um, one thing this does is it kind of gives you a lot of information you don't really need on the first page for this type of research. Go to the top bar up here and click on table. And that can show you the main table, which is absolutely brilliant, very, very useful. Uh, and also you can select previous years as well and look back through the history, as well as quickly jump between divisions as well. And this is also very handy for, again, finding teams and and help you identify who's in your area and how well they're doing and how they compare to other teams. So, right, there's uh, four videos coming up with all the information you'll need. Um, pop some links to it in the, in the middle here in a minute. Um, yeah, have fun going through and uh, enjoy creating a regional database.